Hello everyone! Good evening, brothers and sisters! Happy New Year po sa inyong lahat! At kamusta na po kayo? Year, nasa year 2022 na po tayo, pero nakakalungkot man pong isipin, we are still in this pandemic stage. Hindi pa po tayo nakaka-move forward. Pero umaasa po ako na sa kabila ng lahat, ay nasa mabuting kalagayan kayo, lalo na po ngayong nasa surge tayo ng, ng virus. At sa kabila po ng lahat, patuloy lang po tayong maging masaya, may ngiti sa mga labi, mangarap, magpasalamat, at higit sa lahat, pumasa at magtiwala na in God's time, everything will be alright. Dahil ang Diyos na lumika at may hawak ng ating buhay ay Diyos ng pag-asa, Diyos ng awa, at Diyos ng pagmamahal. Amen po ba? Palakpakan po natin si Lord. Our theme for this month of January is Looking Ahead. And our topic for tonight is redirect, live with a vision. Ang ating pong Bible reflection sa gabing ito is taken from Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18 that says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law is happy. Brothers and sisters, We are all created by God for a purpose. And how do we know our purpose? Through prayer and His Word. To fulfill our purpose, we need to be guided by a vision. A vision that answers the question, What does God want me to be? To turn this vision into reality brings about the mission that we need to accomplish. Our mission also answers the question, What does God want me to do? For us to know our vision and mission in life, we need to spend time with the Lord and to ask Him, pray for the grace in discerning them. Alam niyo po mga kapatid, our community, our Acts Catholic prayer community, underwent the same process of prayer and discernment to come up with our mission and vision that serves as our guide and direction in all that we do and undertake. At thanks be to God. Maraming maraming salamat, Lord, kasi we will soon be celebrating our 10th year. Amen. By the grace of God, sa kabila po ng pandemic, Magte-tenth year na po tayo. Amen? The Lord deserves another clap offering for that, brothers and sisters. And so tonight, brothers and sisters, let us open our hearts to God. Focus on Him. Seek Him. And allow Him to direct our path and give us a fresh vision that is aligned to His will and purpose for us in order to live a life that is full of hope, a life that is full of joy, peace, love, and grace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Father God, we give glory, honor, and praise to you. And we thank you for the past year 2021, for living each day with your grace and mercies that have kept us and our loved ones through the year, for your comfort and presence in light of the good and bad days and the lessons we learned from it. Thank you so much, Lord. This new year, allow us to have a fresh start as we offer our lives to you with renewed faith, hope, 
and trust. Thank you that even though we have our own idea of how our life should look, often setting out according to our plans, we pray that your ultimate purpose prevails. We ask that you prompt us on how to live a life that is in accord to your will and not our own. Remind us always, Lord, to come alongside you as we surrender every detail of our lives to fulfill your greater purpose. Align our hearts with yours, our ideas with yours, and our will with yours. For your ways are higher than ours, and your plans are greater than ours, and nothing is impossible with you, Lord. Lead us and guide us every step of the way. We place everything in your hands, Lord, those hands that are nailed on the cross for our salvation and eternal security.
Yes, Lord, thank you. Thank you for your love that never fails. Thank you for not giving up on us. Salamat, Lord, for every gift and blessing comes straight in your heart. As we surrender our lives to you, allow us to be open to your will. Because in the end, the purpose you have for us will give us total victory and happiness in our lives. Sa kabila ng nagaganap sa buhay namin ngayon, Lord, You are still our God, our Father, who remains faithful and whose love is constant. We know that You are doing something in our lives. Hindi man namin lubos na nakikita o nauunawaan ng lahat. Ikaw lang ang nakakaalam what is best for all of us. And your will, your will, Father, your will be done. We will continue to instill the seeds that you have planted in our hearts. Faith, hope, and trust. We will never cease to praise and worship you in thought and in deed. And may the radiance of your glory shine upon us. We pray for the grace of the Holy Spirit to lead us to Jesus in the realities of uncertain and stormy lives. We will continuously cast our gaze at you, Lord Jesus, rather than the sea of doubts, worries, and anxieties that pluck our lives. For in the midst of fears, O Lord, your grace abounds.
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And may our hearts, Father God, stay in constant place of giving you glory in everything we do. And may your name be praised forever and ever. Amen. Hallelujah to you, Lord. Hallelujah. And praises to you, our Lord of Lords, our King of Kings, omnipotent, omnipresent Father, who reigns in His holy throne in all His splendor and majesty. Amen. Praises to you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah to you. Can we give the Lord our clap offering? Salamat. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, our worship for tonight will not be complete without us giving back to the Lord a portion of what He has blessed us with and what is due Him. Let us give our Lord our love offering. Therefore, mga brothers and sisters, naka-flash po sa screen nyo where you can give yung inyong mga love offering. We have our bank accounts and GCAS ng Agapetos Foundation Inc. Also, please don't forget to send proof of transaction to Brother Hernand or Sister Nancy for proper accounting lang po. You can also check our FB page, axprayer.com, para po sa mga projects, programs, and activities ng ating community. And so, I now invite you, brothers and sisters, to pray with me for our love offering. Father God, we bring to you with grateful and cheerful hearts our love offering. An offering as a sign of surrender and complete trust in you. Bless this offering, Lord, as we also ask for the grace to be more generous in giving what is due you, Father, making us realize that you are the source of all the blessings we have. Take our humble offering, Lord, and let it be used so that others may be touched and that we may continue to support the mission that you have entrusted to our community. Together with this offering, Father, we also lift up to you all our prayer petitions and intentions and all our brothers and sisters who are in agony right now, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and even financially. You know what's in our hearts, Lord. You know what we need. You know what we want. And you know what is best for all of us. All this we pray. In Jesus' salvific name, by the power and the grace of the Holy Spirit, Amen and Amen. Mama Mary, please intercede for our prayer request. We pray, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen and Amen. To God be the glory, now and forever. Amen and Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Stay safe po, and God bless us all. Thank you.